So in this tutorial, you're going to learn three things. You're going to learn how to create a new list in Aweber's autoresponder, how to create a follow-up series, something that's short yet effective and simple to create. And number three, you will learn how to create an opt-in web form that you can actually place onto your landing page so that people can sign up and subscribe to your freebie and onto your list. Okay, let's get started. First thing what we want to do is we'll go to the aweber.com webpage. Now I'd highly recommend that you sign up. You got a instantly risk-free membership for 30 days. You can go ahead and sign up for it. And uh, it's very powerful and very effective. It's got a great deliverability rate and Aweber does work alongside with email providers so that you get a good deliverability rate. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to presume that you already have an account here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Click on the login button, fill in your login name, your password. And the first screen that you're going to see is this screen. Initially every time you log in. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new list. In order to do that, you'll need to scroll down. If you scroll down here, you're going to see a section for billing slash accounting, and then you're going to see a link for create and manage lists. Click on this link so you can create a new list. So at the top of the manage lists area here, you're going to see a link, a green button that says create lists. So we'll click on that link or that button. And the thing you need to note is you'll need a list name which is an email address that Aweber will use to send uh, the emails that you send out to your list. So whenever your list receives the letter or email newsletter, they're going to see the list name, something at aweber.com. So because our list was called German Shepherds, uh, the theme, we'll just call it German Shepherd List. And you'll notice here that Aweber will tell you whether that name has been taken or not. This list name is already in use. So, so if we put something like German Shepherd 0, then we notice that the list name is available. Enter your short list description, which can be German Shepherd Freebie Report. And you want to make sure that these are checked. Uh, so check those things and enter your company name. And of course your domain name, your website URL. So that's the logo URL. A lot of this stuff is optional, so you don't have to do it. So, But you can if you like to, as far as company branding goes. If you do that, and you do need a reply address though. That is just an address uh, that people see when they reply to the email. So if you something say something like gsd at yourdomain.com, put your name, your name, And of course, I'll include a valid email address so that you can actually see it working. And uh, when you're that done, you can click on save, or actually click on add to add uh, this right here. And uh, you will actually want to make sure that you do save this stuff at the top here. Click save down here, and that's it. All you have to do is fill out the information on this side and you have created a new list. Now the second thing you might want to do is scroll over list settings here and you have the verified opt-in which is the double opt-in area which uh, whenever somebody subscribes and receives your freebie report they're gonna receive this verification message so that they are required to confirm this link right here. So you can actually change this if you like by clicking that you can change it to whatever you want to down here 
pre-approved subject or you can create your own custom subject here by adding their first name to receive your free report please confirm your request and of course when you do that an actual Aweber person will actually verify whether that is valid or not so that does have to get approved and usually that's pretty quickly within a few hours to a day and you have your intro you can edit your intro if you like you have your body text and you can uh, edit your closing name as well so once you're done with that you just click on save and you're done so that's the verified opt-in and you can also enter the confirmation success page which means if they click that link they are automatically forwarded to this page now we're not going to do that because we're going to use a follow-up series to actually welcome the user and give them the link there so we're gonna leave this blank here and we're gonna move up here and the next thing we want to do is create a follow-up series to do that you want to click on the messages link well not necessarily click but highlight it with your mouse push your mouse down and go to follow up what a follow up series is is if you add a message here this is the message that they will receive immediately after they confirm that that is their email and they requested for that information now you add another message to that and you have what we call intervals you can specify whether okay you receive the initial email the first day two days later you receive another email two days later after etc etc you can say two weeks later once a week one month later it's merely up to you so we'll go ahead and add a message here the initial one and this is what people are going to receive when they sign up for your freebie report uh, you can enable trackings of your links that means if you have links within your here then you can track exactly how many people click on it so you can use that statistics for later on so we're not going to include that right now uh, but we have a subject here and you click on that if you want to make it personalized you can click on insert field and first name fix which is what can be used or you can use anything else we can say first name here is your German Shepherd report your free German Shepherd report and you can say dear first name thank you for signing up for this free report you can download it by clicking the link below and you can use this format if you like too. to your success your name and of course you have a link that goes directly to your free report so once that's done you click on save at the bottom So great, you have your initial message here. You can actually check whether it has a high spam rating score or not. If it does, you can always click here. And uh, Aweber will use Spam Assassin to detect and tell you whether certain keywords in your message are being used that need to be changed to something else. So initially, this is what they're going to receive. You can also add later on a new message just to show you so sent four days after the previous email so let's say that you want to send it to them two days later put a two days you want to send it to them one month later one week later seven days so it's run by days so you have to enter how many days you want them to receive the second message now in this case I'm just gonna do two days so that the visitor and the 
subscriber will not forget about uh, this list. So I'm going to click on that. Click on here, insert first name fixed. And as far as the subject line goes here, you can also say, okay, first name, a few more tips on German shepherds. You want to keep the reader's attention span uh, wide open towards what you're giving to them. You want to constantly feed them stuff. You want to ask them questions. You want to relate to them, build that relationship with them so that later on you can either sell something of yours or sell another product in the future. So what you need to do is have a subject line. You, you can say from your name. It's always good to say from your name, whatever your name is, just so that you can build your credibility and that way they know who you are because people do forget. So you can say from your name, hi, first name, fix. I hope you enjoyed the report that you received two days ago. Here are a few more tips on how to improve your GSD or German Shepherd Dog's behavior. And you have several tips. And then you can actually go into actually trying to build a relationship with them. And you can say something like, I always like to get to know those on my lists. So in order to improve the advice I give you, and you can start asking questions like, things about them just so that you can build that relationship because what happens is a lot of people when they build their list they forget to follow up after that welcome email a lot of people forget to tell people what they can do with it because most likely people will subscribe and they will forget that they ever downloaded that free report or that free software or freebie from you and they won't do anything with them but by following up with them they will be able to you know improve on what they do whatever you give them and at the same time you can build that relationship with them by asking questions about them and actually corresponding back with them. and by asking questions about them you get feedback from your readers so you, that you know who's on your list and you can say something like simply reply to this email with your answers Thanks, and to your success, your name. So when you're done with that, you just click on the save. So now that you know how to create a follow-up series, you're going to create a web form now. And to do that, all you need to do is go to the list settings area, click on web form, then you'll need to click on the create web form green button once you do that you can name the form name which can be anything that you would like appears only to you so we could do something like German Shepherd one we will leave it an inline type because it appears within the current web page body uh, which we're doing we're inserting that onto our landing page so we'll keep it at that. The thank you page, we'll leave it as it is. And that's it. We'll just go ahead and click on the next. The second step is to design the form. What we want is a, a name and an email here. So since we only have the email currently right here, we want to add the name. And we want the name to be located on the top. So we'll move it until you see that black line release it we got the name and the email if you want to add a headline here you can do that by clicking that but in this case since we already have a call to action we don't need a headline you can also change the submit button to something else as well so we could say something like grab this report 
And once you're done with that, you can click on the save link here. So there we go. We have created a web form and you're going to be able to see the conversion rates and the unique displays and all that. If you'd like to preview the form to see what it looks like, you can click on this link here, which just shows you this information. And you can get the HTML, which is what you want to do next, by clicking this link here, Get HTML. And by doing so, this is the area where you can get the code so that you can add it to your actual landing page when we actually put it together and make the landing page look nice which is in the next tutorial. Now what you want to do is you want to find the top one here. You want to use the JavaScript one so that Aweber can actually keep track of the statistics that you want to look back on. So go ahead and highlight this and click on copy and you can paste it over onto a WordPad, Notepad, any place but you want to copy that over because you're going to use that later on. So now that you have created a list, created a follow-up series, and created a web form, now we can go ahead and put it all together and create a landing page.